Mike Lair had received various important phone calls throughout his lifetime. As a young man from Wall, Texas, Lair learned to thrive on the track and football field as both a player and a coach. Between Austin, San Angelo, Corstoval, Yola, and Abilene, Lair had served as a school teacher, principal, and administrator for more than 38 years. He had received contact from legislators, professional athletes, and a first lady. But nothing could have prepared him for his greatest challenge. Dr. John McFarland, who was chairman of the TRT Legislative Committee, called me one evening and said, Mike, I've just gone back to my high school reunion. My old high school sweetheart was there. The flame still burns. We're getting married, and you're now chairman of the TRTA Legislative Committee. Mike had worked for the Austin schools, and he had had a connection with the legislature before he retired that uh, uh, kind of put him ahead of the game a little bit in knowing the legislators over there. Mike started working down at the Capitol at, in 1975, and uh, we were uh, newly married, and I was working across the street. So when I finished with my work at 5.30 or 6, I would walk over, and he was always still working. When he started working for the Texas Retired Teachers Association, what really was a good benefit to him is because there were quite a few there that were still legislators and they they knew that they could uh, trust him. They knew that when he talked to them that he was giving them the full story. We had a lot of work we needed to do because teachers had not gotten any annuity increases. Their retirement benefits were very low and there was a great challenge there. People who had retired many years ago um, and were living on practically nothing, believe me, nothing, less than $1,000 a month. I got with the executive director from TRTA and two other individuals who I knew were very credible and knowledgeable of uh, retirement benefits. And we had a meeting one day and out of that meeting, we came up with what we called a consumer price index catch-up. We called it our CPI catch-up. Mike and I both worked for the San Angelo School District and Bruce Heinemann uh, worked for the San Angelo School District at that time. And uh, he was the executive director of Teacher Retirement System. And I can remember Mike going to see Bruce. They had a conference with one or two other people. And what Bruce said that TRS was able to afford was a certain amount and Mike got upset about it because he knew the retired teachers needed more so he got up and said we're leaving and that's kind of Mike's personality and he wasn't going to stand for it and if I remember the story correctly Bruce called back either that afternoon or the next day and asked him to come back and talk and at that time, he was willing to listen to what Mike and the other ones had to say and ended up agreeing with them. We took this plan and program to the chairman of the House Education Committee, to the Senate Education Committee, to the Speaker of the House, and to the Lieutenant Governor, and told them what our plan was. And they were very open Four sessions straight in a row, we completely passed our consumer price index catch-up, our CPI catch-up, and retirees' benefits, some who had been getting $150 to $200 a month, were now getting $850 to $950 a month. Each year, they would look into what they could do to give permanent increases to those people. And they were, when they were permanent, they were there for the rest of their lives. So whatever I am collecting today as a retiree, all these years that I've been retired, is all based on what happened in the 90s. And it's just an astounding thing to me to know that it happened, and I saw it happen. Well, retirees' actions, couldn't believe it. Uh, I would go off to speak to a local unit and a, a, a retiree would come up to me with their check and say, 
look at the check I got from TRS. The check is not right. I don't feel comfortable that I can cash this check. And I said, yes, you can cash it. It's a new bill. This is our CPI catch up. That is what the legislature has passed. And this is what you're going to get this year. And you're going to get three more increases just like this over the next six years. We were in Amarillo. Mike was making a speech up there and Kenneth Gibson's brother, who was in his 90s, told his brother Kenneth, he said, tell me when Mike Clare gets there, I want to come meet him. And so his brother came over and he brought his check and he said, this is bound to be wrong. This is way too much money. What do I do with the check? And Mike said, no, it's correct. And he's, he didn't know how to express his gratitude. It was very moving. We made a difference in the lives of retirees, individuals who had taught 30 and 40 years and had given their whole life to education, or now had a retirement that they could live a life befitting the time that they had given to teaching children in the state of Texas. This June, Lair will step down as a board member of the Texas Retired Teachers Foundation. He had a passion for what he was doing, number one. Number two, he had a wonderful sense of humor. And a sense of humor, sense of humor takes you a long way. A long way. He's a little, he's not typical. He, he's uh, verbose and, and uh, but he knows where he's going and he knows where to go. I have a tremendous respect for him. Uh, he has untold energy, and I think he still has a lot of untold energy. My gosh, his energy just, you know, energy everywhere. And he's, he knows how to talk with people and influence people and, and get things moving. Thank you, Mike Lair, for all your years of service to TRTA and TRTF. Your contributions will never be forgotten.